Assume you have a bottle of water and a bottle of honey. You know when you try to pour these two things the results are different. Honey flows a lot slower than water. The technical term for this is called viscosity. Let's say you wanted a system of equations that describe how liquids and gases move. Let's also say you want your equations to model viscosity because you think it is important that honey and water are different. One way to create such a system is to combine Newton's laws of motion with some underlying assumptions on how to model viscosity. When mathematicians did this, they arrived at the Navier-Stokes equations. With these equations, you can plug in how a fluid is moving at a given point in time, and they will tell you what it does at all future points in time. Unlike other equations that model physical phenomena, such as the wave equation and the heat equation, these equations are much more difficult to solve. Now, because these equations are meant to model a real-world problem, we would like it that the solutions output are realistic. The million-dollar problem called the Navier-Stokes existence and smoothness problem asks the following. Assuming we are in three dimensions and we have a fluid that is moving in a realistic way at the starting point, will the Navier-Stokes equations make it move in a realistic way at all future points in time? What they mean by realistic is defined by a series of complicated equations that must be satisfied and related to things like the fluid not moving infinitely fast. There are some interesting partial results related to the Navier-Stokes existence and smoothness problem. If we replace three dimensions with two dimensions, we know the result is true. Namely, in 2D, if a fluid starts moving in a realistic way, the Navier-Stokes equations say it will continue to do so. In 2016, Terence Tao published a paper that showed the result to be false for a system of equations similar to the Navier-Stokes equation. Namely, he was able to find an example of a fluid moving in a realistic way that stopped moving in a realistic way after a finite time when governed by this similar set of equations.